My name's Miles Kirby. I'm the head chef at the New Zealand-owned and inspired Providores restaurant in London. I grew up in Wellington, New Zealand, which was on the south coast of North Island. Uh, and it was there that I really developed my love for seafood and, of course, New Zealand wines. A lot of people tell me that cooking fish and seafood is a difficult thing to do. I, I'm here to show you that it really is not a difficult thing to do. And I've created some recipes to match with some beautiful New Zealand wine that will surely impress any dinner party guests or your family and make any dining experience that much more enjoyable. Today I'm going to be cooking seared yellowfin tuna with herby green puy lentils from France, uh, some garlic pickled girol and serve that with some thyme flavoured creme fraiche. I'm going to dispel a myth today that you can't serve red wine with fish. I'm going to serve it with a New Zealand Merlot. Uh, it's the Nobolo Regional Collection Merlot from Hawke's Bay, which is in the North Island in New Zealand. It's a beautiful, soft, textured wine with flavours of red fruits and, and, and a little bit of spice in there as well. So let's get on with it. I've got a pot here ready to go. It's got a little bit of olive oil in it. I've just put a little bit of onion in there to see if the oil's hot enough. Looks like it is, so in it goes. That looks like it's going to be enough. A little bit of chopped garlic. Some chopped rosemary. And some chopped sage. The idea at this stage is that all these flavours are going to infuse into the olive oil, which are then going to coat the lentils and give them a delicious herby flavour. You let this cook for a couple of minutes until the onions start to soften. Then in go the lentils. Say two cups. It's going to be enough for four or five people. And give them a good stir. And that, I wish you could smell it because it is, it is really, really divine. This is just a great way to, to start off the wine and food match that you're later trying to achieve. Throw in some water. Just to cover them. Pop a lid on and set it to the side where it will cook on a low temperature for about 15-20 minutes. The next thing we've got to do is cook our garlic pickled girol mushrooms. Oil in a pan. We're going to cook the mushrooms at a nice hot temperature, otherwise they'll start stewing and they'll be soggy. We want them nice and golden brown. It's the earthy flavour of the mushroom that we're really after. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, just keep them Pan nice and uncrowded. I'm going to throw in some sliced garlic. That's just going to flavour the oil and the mushroom. We're going to throw in some caster sugar and some white wine vinegar. But the garlic looks like it's softening a little bit, it doesn't look completely raw. So in goes the sugar. So we'll caramelise now in the pan and then we deglaze with the white wine vinegar. We're just going to cook that until most of the moisture is gone. Just going to throw in a pinch of roughly chopped parsley and set those aside and we'll use those later on. They're just beautiful. Yellowfin tuna, beautiful fresh yellowfin tuna steak. I've chosen tuna to match with the wine. But should have enough weight and texture to balance with the weight and texture of the wine which is quite smooth and, and elegant as well. So we season it, salt and pepper. Smoking hot pan, in goes the fish. We have to be really quick from here because the last thing we, need, we want to do with this fish is cook it anything past rear. This is how quick we do it. We're looking for colour on one side, we're looking for colour on the other side and then it comes out of that hot pan. So now it's about assembly of the dish. Right, the lentils are now cooked. Give it a good stir and spoon into the centre of a plate. I've got some pea shoots here that I'm going to use for garnish. You can use watercress, you can use rocket, you can use green beans, you can use anything. What I'm after is colour and a bit of freshness as well. Next is the fish. Beautifully cooked piece of rare tuna. The garlic pickled girol, which are going to be sweet and a little bit of sour to balance that. And the crowning glory is thyme flavoured creme fraiche. Now this is literally Half a cup of creme fraiche, two tablespoons of chopped thyme, and some salt and pepper to taste, and that's all it is. This dish proves that you can match red wine with fish. The herbaceous notes of the red wine match perfectly with the sage and rosemary and the lentils, and of course the thyme and the creme fraiche. The weight and balance and texture of the wine 
can hold its own against the, the meaty flavour of the tuna as well. And, and I just think it's a great match and one you should try. Delicious. Come.